Water is the enemy of durability, and your house in a modern built home with today's codes for air tightness cannot stand even a small amount of water getting into that cavity without having major problems. And of course, if you're a builder, we all know that litigation, the number one cause is from water intrusions. So today's topic is really an important one. And we're talking today about specifically fluid applied weather barrier systems. You know, if you're building in a coastal environment, if you're building modern construction with no overhangs or you have a lot of exposure, you really need to think about the most bomber, the most durable, the most bulletproof system you can find and this is one of them i'm actually here today with the inventor of this fluid applied system we're using on this project this is Ezio fabrizi Ezio, thank you for joining me thanks for having me so Ezio, you are not only a builder and a contractor but you're a chemist and i understand you actually came up with this polywall blue barrier system about 10 years ago tell me the genesis of this product well you know in the industry we all started off with the sheet goods and then gradually worked into peel and sticks and then when we got to fluid applied systems we're kind of being force fed traditional below grade waterproofing or deck coatings on vertical applications we knew it didn't work we mm -hmm. saw failures early on um, so we decided to go ahead and take matters in our own hands and, and grab a sheet of paper and see if we could do better that's amazing and so you're in a coastal environment obviously in a coastal environment you get a lot of water it probably rains uh, on a consistent basis where you are in Florida and so tell me what it was that you were looking for as you designed a new system what were the what were the problems that you were trying to solve well we you know the problems with sheet goods and with peel and sticks is you know when are you gonna fold them in and how are you gonna counter flash them and what is it that you're actually gonna do with them um, with our system we designed it so that it's one monolithic system you can start at the bottom you can start at the top it really doesn't matter you're gonna have one uniform coating Another benefit is we have full embedded adhesion. Being mm -hmm. a fluid applied system, we're getting in the nooks and crannies where your peel and sticks are only gonna really get surface adhesion. And to a lot of the folks that watch my videos are builders and architects that are very technical, but I certainly don't have a chemistry background. Tell us the science behind this product that you invented. Sure, well the pre-polymer we're talking about is STPE, solid terminated polyether. It originated in Japan in the early 90s. It was brought over by the automotive industry, used as a filler and an adhesive uh, in their industry. We brought it into our industry and tweaked it quite a bit. Uh, using that backbone technology, we're able to really get great adhesion and a really durable product for the market. And what are the big uh, problems that this solves for builders like you and I? Well, it's that uniform monolithic coating that we really can take out of this now. So there's no more flipping and folding and counter flashing. You get that fully adhered, fully embedded uh, membrane. So it's basically when it's all done, it's one sheet mm -hmm. that's bonded to each other and bonded to the building, right? Absolutely. And you also have the flexibility to go back after the fact and touch up and tweak and go around penetrations that may occur after you've left the building jobs. That's a big deal. And you know, the other thing that I realized as I started getting into this on this project was, uh, you know, a lot of times I see builders that will missequence their projects, where basically the frame carpenter will frame the house. A lot of times the framer is doing the waterproofing or the house wrap as well. And then the trades come in later and penetrate that. You know, they're poking through for water pipes, for hose bibs, for electrical outlets. And there's no one later to come back and really put the flashing on or do that correctly. With your system, when you penetrate that, that's let's say this wall behind us that's already done, it'd be really easy for the project manager on the job or one laborer to come back with a cock tube of your mm -hmm. product and detail that one penetration and now you'd be boom, back to waterproof again. That's absolutely correct. Let's switch gears, move over to the other wall here and let's actually apply some product. All right, let's do it. And so walk me through the process. First, tell me which products we're actually gonna be using today. Okay, today the products from the Polywall family we have is the 2200 joint filler. That's going to be your fiber reinforced detail sealant. Okay. We're gonna use that primarily where the voids are in between the blocks as well as around the penetrations. And then once we're finished with that, we're gonna to jump to the two versions of the uh, of the fluid applied weather barrier, right? Yes. So tell me the difference between those two. So the 2300s are spray grade. You're gonna to wanna to use the spray grade when you have a larger surface area to attack. It's much more productive in bigger projects. 2400 is our roller grade product. And that's really what we used most on this project was that roller grade. A little bit of a thicker product compared to the spray grade. And you can really take it right out of the bucket and roll it right onto the wall. Absolutely. So walk me through the steps then. What do we need to do for surface prep? So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a clean surface. Obviously nothing really bonds well to dirt. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that there's no dirt, sand, or loose debris on the building. 
clean it off, brush it off, and go to town. And tell me about the weather conditions. Do we need a, a 80 degree sunny day to apply this and then the surface needs to be totally dry? No, there's a, there's a very good versatility with the product. It's a moisture cure product, so even damp surfaces or wet surfaces aren't gonna give us any issues whatsoever. And so walk me through how we install this detail sealant. Sure, what we're gonna do, Matt, is we're gonna take any voids or uh, joints that are greater than a quarter inch. We're gonna use the fiber reinforced 2200. We're gonna use it out of the sausage gun and we're gonna strike it smooth. And so that's gonna be joints in the plywood, penetrations, um, let's say from PVC pipes or plumbing, uh, electrical, all those kinds of things that are penetrating that exterior wall. And tell me what you do on a window situation when we've got a window in that wall. Sure, Matt. What we do on a window is anything that has a buck, we'll detail that buck and the transition between the wood buck to the substrate. We'll caulk that perimeter, then we'll go ahead and come back over the top of it with our flashing membrane. Okay, and then after that's done, tell me about the next step. So we'll actually install the window. So once you install the window, you'll come back over and tie that window back in again with the 2200 detail sealant. Okay, and then we've got either two options, the roller applied or the spray applied. We decided to use the roller applied on this project. Walk me through how that goes on. So the 2400 is really ready to go as soon as you open the can. There's no primers, there's no mixing. Um, so what you do is you open your, your packaging, go ahead and get yourself your roller and, and, and go to town. And so that's a, what, a 3 8 inch nap roller. Mm -hmm. And you can use an extension pole on that. You're gonna dip it right in the bucket and roll it straight on the wall. It's pretty straightforward. If we were gonna use the spray applied version, the 2300, how would that work? Well, the 2300, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, we're gonna make sure the surface area is clean because once you start going, it's, it's designed to continuously be applying. So we'll actually take the spray equipment, set it up and, and go to town. So really a contractor could either do just the detail sealant and then just the roller applied and just those two steps. Or if you wanted to spray it, you'd use the detail sealant, then you'd use the flash and wrap, which is the, uh, the roller applied version around the windows and, mm -hmm. and those penetrations. And then you could come in and spray the whole surface. Yeah. Tell me about uh, application rate, how we know if it's thick enough. Sure, so the product itself is designed, once it's no longer translucent or opaque, you're, once it becomes opaque, you're, you've got enough millage on. We recommend a minimum of 12 mils. Um, and most applicators when rolling around 20 to 25. So you could actually use a millage gauge, but really in my experience with this, I've used it twice now, it kind of seems like it, it uh, ends up when you roll it kind of automatically getting to the correct thickness. It's almost like you can't paint it on too thick mm -hmm. and you can tell when it's too thin, you need a little bit more, is that right? Yeah, the product actually almost levels itself out. So it, do, it does, it gives you a really nice finished product and it really coats and, and gets into those crevices. That's an amazing product, Ezio. What, what an amazing invention by you all those years ago. And now there's a lot of options in this product category, but I really am impressed with this product you guys have designed. Thank I love that you make it in Texas, uh, just right up the road from me here in Austin. Tell me, let's let's kind of wrap up here for folks that are watching this, builders that maybe haven't used this before. What are the what are the couple advantages you see that over traditional methods for waterproofing a house? Absolutely. So what we have here is you have an absolute embedded adhesion as opposed to your normal sheet goods, which are point penetrations fastened with fasteners, or even your peel and sticks, which really only grab surface adhesion. Mm -hmm. The embedded adhesion of fluid applied is that next generation. It's, it's giving you the best coverage. A couple things I like about it, and you mentioned this earlier, we lose the origami on a product like this. Right. You know, there's so many instructions when you're using a typical house wrap or a peel and stick, making sure things are lapped correctly. Even seasoned installers can get that wrong and, and can overthink it. And with this, with this, roll it on and you're done. There's no issues with, with mislapping. And the other thing I really like about this Ezio, which wasn't initially apparent to me was, let's say we finished today and the house was totally done, the blue barrier was finished, and, and I missequenced something. Let's say the plumber had to come back to add a hose bib, or we realized we wanted an electrical outlet additionally on the wall that wasn't there. It'd be super easy for me or my project manager to grab a, a, a sausage tube of that detail sealant, come back to where that penetration was and detail that later, float it right into the existing blue barrier and boom, we'd have a perfect wall again. I think that's that's a missing component that a lot of people would really love about a product like this. Yeah, especially within the building process, it becomes tedious to chase the penetrations. Mm -hmm. So once there's exactly right, Matt, if, if the product is already applied on the wall, a penetration comes after the fact, you just simply go right around and detail it right back in. 
Ezio, tell me how folks can find this. You know, in Austin, I buy this from my local uh, dealer, which is Eastside Lumber and Decking. But if you're in another part of the country, how can people find out more about Polywall? Well, go ahead and go to the Polywall website. We've got a list of distributors on the website, and we'll make sure we get you in, in touch with your, your local distributor. Ezio, thank you so much for coming all the way from Florida to join me here in Texas and show this builder and his painter how to do this. I think fluid applied is the future of weather barriers, and I think we're going to see a lot of talk about this in the future. So thanks for joining me training us up. We're going to have a lot of fun using this in future projects. For more information on Polywall, visit their website. Of course, you can always see more of me on my blog at mattreisinger.com. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.